In today's pattern, let's do the fluffy meringue shawl. This is a brand new shawl using Karen Cakes. Welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're going to work on this fluffy meringue shawl. This is a beautiful shawl. Let me show you some photos now as I'm talking. And what this is doing is it's using Karen Cakes yarn where the transition is happening on its own. There's no doctoring of colors where the colors appear naturally appeared as it was being crocheted into this beautiful shawl. This pattern was adapted by our assistant, uh, Laura Jean Bartholomew. It took me uh, several hours myself to confirm her work and also to make the final touch-ups. So this is based on an existing pattern on Yarn Inspirations where we've altered it to make it to a shawl. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Here's an original diagram that was used on Yarn Inspirations and this was for the fluffy meringue baby blanket. An heirloom type of blanket where the stitch work is so beautiful that we wondered what it would look like if it was converted into a shawl. And then we just uh, did some final touches in order to change the pattern slightly here on the edge in order to make it all the way spanning across and we took out the picots that were in the large crochet sprays. What is a spray? Let me show you. So here is a crochet spray. So the crochet spray consists of four rows. So you'll see here, this is row number one, two, three, and four, and then it repeats once again. This is the original diagram, and what we did is that we took out the picots out of here so that it was a little more just flatter as we go. So when you look at the original sample, if I pull it away here, you'll see that there is beautiful spray work here, and you'll see that it's just lifting up. Let me show you the other diagram that we made in order to make it easier for you. So this is a diagram by Diva Dan where we have altered the other pattern to remove out the picots but you can see that it's following consistency and you can print off this diagram on our website. I provided a link in the more information of this video so you can do this. Plus you can learn a lot more and see more closer up photos of this particular shawl. So you'll see that there is sprays going on and it's just a matter of growing it and it's all about how you look at it. So let's look at it from a strategic point of view. So from a strategic point of view, there's a center backbone and that's just a V-stitch. The V-stitch goes all the way up all the time. In every row, it's exactly in the same spot. It's the same stitch. And then including the outside edge, it's a V-stitch on the outside. So the chain three plus chain one is a V-stitch. So that's a double crochet chain one and then uh, a double crochet back in to give you a V. And that follows all the way out on both directions. So the consistency of this particular pattern is that the backbone is always gonna be the same just like so the v-stitch is going up and the edge is always going to be the same. So as we start off, we're going to start off with one crochet spray on both sides of the center point and then what happens on this side happens identical on this side. So that's why in crochet patterns they don't have to do show you everything. It's just a mirror image. So then once we get beyond, then we're going to start doing sprays again. So what's going to happen in row number five, do you see how I put a line here? This is the end of the spray. So row number five all the way through eight is the next layers of spray. So the sprays then appear uh, when we look at it from the first one, we look at the next one and then they're on the upper and the lower section right here. Then what we continue is that once you continue the spray again as you get out, they're always gonna be on the edge just like you see. They're always gonna be going up through the middle but the new sprays are always gonna sink down in between the other sprays. So when you look out up here for example, you'll see there's always one on the edge, there's always one in the middle but you see that there's more sprays. So every time you can complete four rows, you'll see that sprays start arriving more and more and as you get this uh, to be bigger, you'll see that the sprays will just sink into position. So when we look at it from a picture point of view, this is the same afghan that's in behind. I just uh, took a photograph of it on this table and I just uh, reprinted it so that you can see a better look. So you can see that here's the backbone, the V-stitch that goes right up to the center and then this is the starting spray here and then the next spray is up and down and then the rest of the sprays follow in between. So those sprays are always gonna be directly on each side of the center and they're always gonna be on the edge. So here's a closer up view of the center point and you can see that it starts off in the center and that the V-stitch always is in the same spot all the way up. So this is the center line that happens on both sides. So this really gives you a good indication. The center point is a really good handy thing to have because it, it means that you can really never lose track of where you are in this uh, particular project so that you can't really script the rows, rows too much. Let me show you a more other, another photo more zoomed out. 
When the Shah is lying down it's of course gonna be a triangle and right here I put in a string. So what's gonna happen is in the Karen Cakes do you see where the colors changed on this one? If you look really carefully you can see it. There's no doctoring. The colors come out of the ball just exactly the way that you see it here. If you look carefully you see how you got the blue here and it comes around and then it suddenly changes. It's so hardly noticeable that it's fabulous. And that's why one thing I love about Karen Cakes is that when it does color transition especially in a project like this it is incredible. So you see a stitch marker right here. So this stitch marker is indicating exactly where one ball will finish. So when Laura Jean did this she did this as one ball. I did it as two. So right where he, this stitch marker is is eight and three quarters of a spray. So the very final row that you see just like here that's a final row cannot be done with one ball. So eight and three quarters is what you can get. So then when I went and added a second ball from here to here is a complete second ball. So you're thinking whoa like you can do all of this all with one ball but you can only do this little section with another ball. The reason for it is you got a lot more distance as you're going across. So that's why it's uh, that's why it's appearing like this. So this whole stripe would be coming in natural and into position for you. The stripe can be in any different place. It depends where the ball starts and that's something that is really kind of fun with this yarn. Now for those that don't prefer a yarn that changes color like Karen Cakes and you wanna control the color where you're gonna do it is whenever you do the back post double crochets. That's the start of a spray. So whenever you wanna do this and you wanna worry about this in order for keeping the colors that's where you're gonna change it. So uh, Laura Jean what she did is she kept the middle and the next one the same color and then she changed it for the next time the spray appears and then she changed it again and then changed it again. So the colors of the next spray will appear in front because it is a back post uh, double crochet. Let me show you where on the diagram that is happening. So when you look at the diagram from row one through four is a spray. So the next time you start a spray is when you're gonna be doing these back loops of double or back post double crochet just like this. Okay so that's where you're going to change the colors in row number five and then you're gonna do the next spray. So if you wanna change the color again then it'll be row number nine where that will start once again and that's the start of the next spray going up. So that's where you wanna look for it and what's gonna happen because you're using the back post here it's gonna cause the stitches to lift off. So if I look at it here you see that there's a three dimensional look to it. Where am I here? See that how it lifts off? That's what's making this whole thing really quite amazing and giving it three dimensional texture is just by that one row of just working the back post double crochet. So in today's tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you started. I'm gonna go long enough in this that you can start seeing the whole sinking down in between. So I'm gonna go probably until about row number 12. It's gonna take me a little bit of a while for this tutorial as I follow you across. And the reason for it is that I wanna show you what's gonna happen here right in the sinking. Because once you understand what's happening here then you can do all the rest of them that are sinking in between as well. And so whenever you're then looking and you wanna do the next row up here if you can't see it here but it simply just refer back to row number 13 and keep on building and, and I'm gonna show you the tips to be able to do that. So every time you do a set of four rows you're gonna add an additional spray uh, if you go to continue and if you don't of course that's where you're gonna stop. The final of this particular project is right here in the final uh, row and uh, again that's just a good place to be and uh, that's all there is to it. So you're gonna need a five millimeter size H crochet hook and I'm gonna be using Karen Cakes yarn today. So let's get started and we're gonna create a slip knot. Remember that never counts as one. We're gonna do the very center point and this is the very back of the neck for you and then we're gonna expand from this point. We need to chain five. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four and five and then what I want you to do is go into the very first one just like this. Insert in, yarn over and pull through and through. And now you have the center ring of your your shawl. So you just wanna keep your straggler in check here and now here is the center point. Let's move along to row number one. Let's begin row number one. We're gonna simply just chain four. This counts as a double crochet and chain one. So that's three and four. So double crochet and chain one. So that's what it, it, it counts as. So I want you to double crochet back into the center of the ring and then chain one. Okay. And then back into the center of the ring for another double crochet and then chain one. Back into the center again and then chain one. And the goal is is that you're looking for six 
double crochets into the center of the ring by the time you get over to the other side. So I got one, two, three, four, five. This is counts. Remember that chain three is part as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, chain one, and the final one is just one double crochet into the final, just like that. So what I want you to do, here you go. You got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Turn it and let's move on to row number two. One. We're gonna start establishing this, the edge points and the center point in this round or in this row. So what I want you to do is that the big black dots that you see on the edge are slip stitches. We're always gonna do this anytime we start a row. We're just gonna insert our hook into the chain one space, yarn over, pull through and through and that's just slip stitch just to put us right into that center of that space. We're now gonna chain four which counts as a double crochet plus chain one. So one, two, three and four. And I want you to double crochet back into that same chain space. Okay, so it's a V stitch that you've just created there. So now we're gonna just uh, create the one spray. This is the starting of the sprays and it's in the next space right here and we're going to double crochet and then chain four. One, two, three and four and double crochet into that same space. Now the wonderful thing about this is all of the sprays always are gonna be the same. So whenever you start a spray it's always gonna be uh, double crochet, chain four, double crochet. So the next space right here is going to be the middle or the center of your shawl. So you're just gonna double crochet into that space, chain one and double crochet. So it's a top, it's a V stitch. That's the backbone that I talked about. And now we're gonna move to the next space. The next space is gonna be the other side of the spray. So it's the other side. You're gonna double crochet, chain four and double crochet all into that same space. And then you're left with one space which is your edge. So you're just gonna double crochet, chain one and double crochet right there. Okay, so when you're looking at it from this point of view, you can, your backbone is starting to move up and your V stitches are now coming out the edge and here is the start of your sprays. Let's move on to row number three. So row number three we're gonna just turn our work and we're gonna move up a level. So remember what I said about those slip stitches? We always have to slip stitch to start a row. So just going right into the chain one space, yarn over, pull through and through. That now gets you to the center. You're gonna chain four which counts as a double crochet and chain one and double crochet into the same space. So now you have your V stitch on the edge. So now we're gonna start doing the sprays and it all happens in this chain four space right here. So in the chain four space there's gonna be a total of nine double crochets right into that same space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All in that chain four space just like this. Now you're in the backbone now of your next section right here. So if you look at it from this point of view the next one right in between the V's is the center point. So all you're just gonna do at this point is that you're going to put in a V stitch in the same spot. Okay, so right in that center. So double crochet chain one right into the center. Now you're gonna move down the other side. So right in this chain four space you're gonna put in nine double crochets once again. So one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And now you're just coming to the other side. So right in the outside one here is where you're gonna put the last uh, V stitch. So just going right into that chain one space. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet. So now you've just gone all the way across. So you can see your center point is maintained. You have your new sprays which are there and you have your edging which is also maintained. Let's turn our work and go for row number four. So row number four is the conclusion of doing the spray. So you started off here in the middle and then you went to the next level and then you did your spray. So this is the last time before the, sp uh, the sprays start repeating each other. So let's uh, start off row number four. We're gonna just slip stitch to the V stitch, the chain one space and then chain four. Okay, we're always gonna do that when you start and then double crochet back in to the same one. So it's a V stitch right in the edge. So this one now we're gonna get the spray to be even bigger. So right in the first double crochet that's part of that chain, that nine, you're going to put immediately in a double crochet followed by a chain one. 
So one, so that's chain one. So they go to the next one. So I like to count these double crochets as they go and then do a chain one after. The only one you don't do a chain one after is the final one. So let's count those double crochets and make sure that you chain one after. So one, two and then chain one. This is three, chain one and four, chain one and five, chain one, six and chain one. 7 and chain 1, 8 and chain 1 and 9. So after the ninth, you do not put a chain 1. Okay that's it. So now you look to the backbone here. This is the V stitch. You're just gonna do a V stitch right into that same spot. So double crochet, chain 1, double crochet. That's what a V stitch is. Now you're gonna come down the other side. So you start on the, the one that's currently in the spray. Okay, so you start right in that one and do a double crochet first and then start doing your chain ones again. So let's count those out. So I just did one and we do a, a two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine and that's it. So you don't do a chain one after nine. So then that's it. So the, now you're on an edge, you just fill it in with a V stitch right at the end. And that concludes off doing one complete spray just like that. So that's what it looks like, kind of just an oval shape. Let's move along to row number five which is the start of your next sprays. So let's turn our work and do another set of sprays. So, so let's begin to work on number five. So this is the start of creating more sprays and this is when we're gonna work on the back loops in order to create that lift. So what we want to do is start and we want to slip stitch to the center point or the chain one just like we had before. Chain four and double crochet in. So that's always gonna happen when you start a row. So what I want you to do is look for these sprays. There's a total of nine of them. Okay, as we go and we look to where the center one is here. So this is the center backbone. So we're gonna be playing within these particular sprays and as we get bigger and more and more sprays, the same thing happens as we do, as we go along. Okay, so let, we're, let's start off with the first one. So you're looking to the first spray. It's the second stitch over if you look at it from this perspective and you're gonna do a back post. So just wrap the hook coming around from the back, going back out the back, yarning over, pulling through and then double crocheting as normal. Now I want you to chain three. So one, two and three and I want you to skip the next spray, go to the next one and you keep doing that. Okay, so chain three, one, two, three. So back post into, so skip the next one, go to the second one over and do a back post double crochet. And you can see this is causing this to lift off which is exactly what you want. So chain three, Skip the next one, go to the second one over, back post double crochet. Okay, chain three. And now, see you're coming close to the center point, but the very last one that you're gonna do is this one right here. That's just before the center. So if you're not there, then something is wrong. You've either miscounted your spray, which can happen, or something's not right in the pattern. So then once you get there, you're just gonna immediately just go into the center point and just double crochet, chain one and double crochet in. Just like that. Okay, so you don't worry about back posts in the center point. So now you're gonna go down the other side. So look for the sprays, okay? And you're gonna go into the very first one. It's the second one over from this perspective. And you're gonna start and immediately do a back post double crochet in the first one. And then chain three, one, two, three skip one, go to the second over and keep doing that. So one, two, three, skip one, go to the second, chain three. Okay, skip one, go to the next one, it's back post double crochet. So you only have to do this every four rows is this back post stuff. Okay, so chain three and you're skipping next one and the next one after that is the very last one in the spray. And once you get that far, then it's just the outside edge just like here. So right in the middle there, just do a V stitch. 
So after you've done this, this is row number five, you can see that the row number four just lifted off and you can see that it's really quite amazing. So let's do row number six. So right now we've just finished row number five and you can see that we created chain three spaces and they're in the back posts just like you see here. So what's gonna happen in row number six is that we're going to start and you, every time there's a chain four, it's the center point of a new spray beginning. So then this row, row number six, is really kind of like the, the really, really true start of the spraying, but you needed row number five in order to get there. And that's where row number five, you would have changed your colors if you're gonna control your colors at any spot. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna grow it out, just like so, and then we're gonna create three empty spots of chain threes for this particular row. And in the next row, what's gonna happen is that when we go to do the sprays again, starting them, we're only gonna fill in two spots and then a spray. And then the next row, we do all of this and there's only gonna be one spot. So what I want you to notice is that there's one, two, three in this row. The next one is one and two and the next one is one. So just look at it like a bowling, a bowling alley really. It just gets more and more less pins at the front as we work our way forward. So let's turn our work and let's move on to row number six. Row number six, here we go. So we're gonna establish the starting of the sprays. Okay, so this was truly the start right where we are, but now we're gonna actually make the, the foot holding for the sprays. So let's start off the first one. You're gonna go into the chain one space and just slip stitch one, two, three, and four, and then double crochet back into that same spot. So there's your outside V stitch just to honor the, the edge. So now what we're gonna do is in, in this very first one here, this is the back post double crochet. In that very first one, you're going to apply a double crochet and then a chain four. One, two, three, four. That's the center point of the spray that's gonna come up in the next row. And you're gonna double crochet back into that same spot. Okay, so you're gonna notice it's gonna bubble out on you. When you look at it from this perspective, you'll notice that it's bigger so it gives you an indication. So right in this chain three space that's next, you're going to single crochet and then chain three. One, two, three, jump to the next chain three space and single crochet and then chain three again. One, two, three, come into the next chain three space for single and then one, two, three and then go to the next and then that's it per spray. So what's happened here is if you look at it from this perspective, you have the starting of the next spray that's gonna happen and then here's your spa spaces. There should be three. So one, two, and three. So once you're in the final one right here, the very last back post double crochet is going to be an immediate double crochet followed by chain four, one, two, three, and four and then back into that same spot, in the back in the same stitch for another double crochet. That is the start of a next spray. So remember as I said, the sprays always stay out toward the edges and always up in the middle. So this is always gonna happen right whenever you're hitting a backbone or, or the main center. So once you get that done, you just come immediately to the middle one and you're going to V-stitch into the middle section to keep that middle point uh, stable. And then you're gonna work down the other side. So right where you wanna go, the back post double crochet, it's the second one over from my perspective that you can see and you're gonna double crochet chain four and double crochet into that same stitch. So that's the next spray. Okay, now you're gonna come right to this chain three space that's right beside it and single in. It's gonna pull it over. Okay, do you see how it's kind of pulled that over and then chain three and go to the next chain three space and then chain three, one, two, three. Go to the next chain three space for single and then chain three and then go to the next and then that's it. So you have your three ch uh, chain three spaces like you were. So the one that's are bubbling out, those are the ones with the sprays in it next time. So once you get that far, you can see that you're all the way to the edge. So the next one here is the very last back post double crochet. You're going to immediately just do a double crochet, chain four and double crochet like so. And then right here, the V stitch is going to be another V stitch. So a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And that concludes up row number six. So what we've done here when we go to review is that we've created now where the next sprays will appear in the next row. So let's turn our work and go for row number seven. So row number seven is now going to establish the sprays. So we have the spaces ready for them but now we need to put them in. So let's start uh, up on the first one. Slip stitch to the middle as always and chain four 
and double crochet into the same one. Okay, so next, the next chain four space here, you see how much bigger than it is than these other ones? That's gonna be your spray. So it's gonna be nine double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right all in there. Okay, so you can see that it's wanting to loop around. So the next chain three space, you're just gonna immediately single crochet. And now you're gonna chain three. One, two, three, and then come to the next chain three space, single crochet, and then one, two, three, and come to the next chain three space. So in this row, last time there was three uh, chain three spaces, so one, two, and three. This time there's only gonna be two. So once you get that one done, go right to the spray, and you're going to put in nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right there. So you have your nine. So you can tell you're in the center point now if you look at it from this perspective. So you immediately just jump to the center one and just put in a V-stitch and then that's it. So now you're gonna go down the other side. So this time you can see that you got two sprays going on so that means you're gonna have two going down the other side. So here's the next chain four space. Immediately just put in your nine into that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So just reach it out. Here's the next chain three space. Just single crochet then chain three. One, two, three. Go to the next chain three space single in and then one, two, three and then uh, single into the next and now the chain four space is next which is your next spray. So let's put another nine in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's it. So now here's your backbone of the side and now you just immediately do a V stitch in. Okay, so that was row number seven. So now you can see how it's looking at this point. So you've got your sprays going on and now what we're gonna do, move on to row number eight. So let's turn our work and go for row number eight. So row number eight, we're gonna make the spray bigger like we did here. See how it got bigger here? So we're gonna do that for this row here. So this time what we're gonna do is slip stitch as always to begin, then chain four and then double crochet in. So you have your beginning V stitch there. Now you just come to your sprays. So you see that there's nine of them. Come into the first one and just do a double crochet followed by a chain one. I'm only gonna count the double crochets but make sure you put your chain ones in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go two and my hands just automatically do the work. This is three. This is four and five. Make sure you put your chain ones in between. I just don't want you to forget that. That was six and the seven and I think I miscounted. So I'm just gonna just check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I thought I did and the reason why I knew that, see this is the last one and that should be nine. So I put in my ninth one and I don't put in any more chain ones. So I immediately come to this space here. This is the only chain three space that, that you see here. And there's two of them. You come to the first one and then chain three and then go to the other one. So now this row here, there's only one chain three space left. So we started off with three and then we went to two. Now there's only one. So now we just reach over to the next spray here and then we just put in nine double crochets Again, making sure chain ones are in between them. So I got the first one in, chain one. So I'm just gonna count the spray. So two, make sure you put your chains in there. It's three, it's four, it's 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that should take me to the last one. And remember that there's no, after nine, there's no chain one. So I just happen to be in the center point again. So here's the backbone. So just immediately come right into the center with the V stitch. And then start again on the other side. Okay, so we've kind of gone up on one side, gotten bigger, and now we're gonna go down the other side. So starting in the spray, okay, it's the second one over. You're going to double crochet, chain one, and you're gonna do that nine times. Okay, so this is two. It's three, it's four, it's five, it's six, and seven, and eight. And I think I miscounted again. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's because that chain one, I'm not counting that with you. So there's nine in there now. Don't chain one after the nine and just immediately come to the next chain three space, single crochet, chain three. Come to the next chain three space. There's only two of them this time and you're making it now into one and then you simply just come into the next top of the next spray and start again. So just nine again. So just double crochet, chain one, so this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine. So after the ninth one you do not put a chain one and come right into the outside space. So let's review where we are right now. We're actually at the end of a spray. So now next time we begin we're gonna start doing the sprays once again. Let's turn this over and show you where we are. Okay, so we're now concluding row number eight just like you see. So you can see that the outsides do not have any lift because we haven't done the back posts and this is how it looks at this point. So the next time that we're gonna do this is that we're gonna have sprays coming out on the edge. You're gonna have sprays going up through the center and then it's gonna be a new one that happens right here. So it'll be one, two, and three and that'll happen on the other side as well. So let's move up to row number nine. If you're controlling colors this would be where you would change it again because we're now gonna go into those back uh, posts like we had before. The color is gonna start changing on the Karen Cakes as well. It's coming up close to it. I don't know if it'll happen in this round but we'll find out what happens. So let's uh, begin. We're going to uh, slip stitch to the middle again as always and then chain four. One, two, three, and four and then coming back in. So there's your outside. So now what we need to do is start establishing the back post again. So come to the very first spray. It's the second one over. So it's not this one, it's this one. It's part of the spray and you're gonna back post double crochet and then chain three. So one, two, and three and then skip one and go to the next one for a back post double crochet. So this row is slightly different because we're now adding sprays in between. So watch what happens. So chain three, skip the next one and back post double crochet and then chain three, skip one and go to the next one. Now wait. So what's gonna happen is that you have one more left here. Okay, that's the last one on the spray. So let's chain three, one, two, and three. If you look at the diagram this last one that we're gonna go about to go into links to the first one of the one over here. So they're gonna be joining together. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do two together uh, as far as like putting it together. So I've just chained three. You're gonna wrap the hook and going skip one, go into the back post of the last one that was there and yarning over and pulling through two and hold that on your hook. There should only be two loops on your hook. Now what I want you to do is look to the first one of the next spray and I want you to wrap your hook and going into the back post of that one. This is gonna happen every time you're in between a spray. Okay, so wrap the hook and then pull through two and then wrap the hook and pull through all three of those loops. So you see that you just created that shape of it linking together. That's what you need to do. So now we start again. So chain three, skip one, and go to the second one over. So we only have to ever do that when you're working along an edge 
and that there's two sprays that are attached to each other. So we don't worry about that in the top or into the side here. So chain three, skip one, go to the second one over, back post double crochet, chain three, skip one, back post double crochet in the next and then chain three and then you do the very last one. So this is the very last one before you hit the center of this. Okay, so right up in the center here you're gonna do a V stitch. So now we're gonna move down the other side. Okay, so let's uh, begin. So we come and do a back post right into the very first one of the spray. Back post and then chain three. So one, two and three. Skip one, back post, double crochet in the next. Chain three, back post and double crochet in the next. Chain three, back post, double crochet in the next and the chain three. So now the next one is the last one of this spray. So we have to link this one and the first one of the next two spray of that spray together. So let's put this one now like if we continue we wanna link those so we're just gonna back post double crochet but we're not gonna finish it and then we come into the very first one over here and that's the next spray that comes up and we wanna get the back post of that one. And then now we got three, pull through all three. So now they just link together. So chain three and skip one back post into the next, chain three. So where they join in between the sprays only happens in the middle of a row. It doesn't happen on the ed edges when you go to do this. And then you continue all along. Making sure that you are actually wrapping your stitches enough times. <laughs> and then one, two, three. And the very final one of this one here. So you skip one. See it's the final one of the spray. So if you don't end up there something is wrong with your count. So then as soon as you get there the next one is just a V stitch as to your edge. Just like that. So in this row here what we've done is that we've linked them together right here. And that's and you see that in the diagram as well. It's a it's they're extending way over. And so this is basically going to be the center point of the next spray coming up in the future. And so then there will be a spray here, there will be a spray here, here, and then your center point. So it'll be a spray here, here, and here. So let's continue row number 10. So let's turn our work and go for row number 10. So row number 10 we're gonna now establish the center points of the sprays again. So we're just gonna start on the edge and just slip stitch in first and then chain four. One, two, three, four, double crochet in. To, now you got your beginning V stitch. So right where we have the very first one that's in the back post it's just like you did down here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. So you're going to put in a double crochet, chain four, and double crochet. So that's the center of an, another spray that will appear and right in this chain space right here I want you to single crochet. Now chain three, one, two and three and then single into the next and then chain three and single into the next. Okay and single or chain three and single again. So you're gonna have a total count of three chain three spaces like you had before when you were down here if you remember. So now this where it's crossing is the center point of the next V. So you're immediately gonna come right into this stitch right here and you're gonna double crochet and chain four, one, two, three and four and then you're coming back in for a double crochet. So that's your next begin uh, center of a, of a spray. So right in this chain space here single crochet then and begin that chain three again going across. So one, two and three go to the next space single and then one, two and three go to the next space single and one, two and three next space and single. So now you have three chain three spaces that you had just created and now look you're right in the center point again. So right before you get there though remember this back, back post here is the center of another spray. So you're gonna just go right into that one first. So double crochet, chain four and double crochet just like that. Now come and do the middle. So just a V stitch in the middle 
and that's it. So now what you've done is you created the center point of the of another spray right here. You've now created another one right here. You can see how it bulges out to give you indication and you got another one working up on the edge. So continuing to go around. So the very first one is another center of a spray. So it's gonna be a double right into this back post double crochet, chain four and double crochet in and then here's the chain th uh, space. So just single crochet, chain three. Okay, just go to the next one and then chain three. So you're just single crocheting in there and then chain three and look you're right at the crossroads again. So right where those two are linking, see how they're, they're coming together. So right in the top one there you're just gonna put in a double crochet, chain four, one, two, three and four and then back in again. So that's the center of your next spray and then coming into this next space right here just single and then chain three. So one, two, three and skipping over. So as you get more and more sprays this piece right in the center you'll have more of them to create when you get there. So one, two, three so the next one here is the very final. So in this back post double crochet you just have to put in a double crochet, chain four and double crochet. That's your next center of the spray and then finally your outside edge. So it's a V stitch in the edge. Okay so let me turn my work and then we'll take you from that point. So now this just created the lift that you just have here and now you've got your center sprays ready to go. So you can have one, two, three, four, five and six. So let's carry on to the next row. So let's begin row number 11. So let's slip stitch to establish ourselves again. So one, two, three and four coming in for double and that maintains itself. So right when we have the next chain four space which is next you're gonna fill it in with nine double crochets. So let's count those out together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Just like that. And now you're just gonna come and you're gonna go to the next chain three space, single crochet in. Then you're gonna chain three, one, two, three, coming into the next chain three space, single crochet and then one, two, and three come into the next space. So in this row here there was three chain three spaces last time. Now there's only two and now you just reach over and now go for this chain four space right here and put another nine in. Nine double crochet. So it's one, there's two, three, it's four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So now you reach over, single crochet in and then chain three. Go into the next one, chain three. So look for those gapping spaces. Those are your indication. There's only two in this row and now here's your next chain four. So that's gonna be nine again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So nine is in and now you're at the center point. So come right in into the center and just put in a V stitch and then you work down the other side. So you can see that the you've created new um, sprays happening and let's carry down the other side. So just jumping to the first chain four space and put in nine. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Okay, just reach out to the next chain three space, single in and then chain three. Go to the next chain three space, chain three. So there's only gonna be two and now here's your next chain four space right there. So just continue to put in nine. So one, two, three, four, five, 
that six, seven, eight, and nine. Your counts are important. Sometimes I've done ten by accident and I have to backtrack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Just reach over to the next chain three space, single in, and then chain three. Coming into the next chain three space. Okay, and then chain three. Come to the next chain three space. So there's only a total of two this time. And now your chain four space again. So fill it in. So nine doubles. So one, and this is two. And my color is going to change shortly. This is four, five. Here comes a new color. This is a six, seven, eight, and nine. And then finally, we're right on the edge. So then you just go right into an edge for a V stitch. Okay, so do you see what happened in this round? So you can see how it's just constantly building out on top of each other. And so we're gonna do another round, get it even bigger, and then you're gonna do the back post again to lift off and then restart all over once again in order to keep on building onto each other. So let's turn our work and do the next round. So we're gonna get the sprays to be even bigger. So we're gonna slip stitch to the beginning and the color changed automatically. So one, two, three, and four. Some people will say that the Karen Cakes, it's cut colors in between but it's not. It's dyed right into the yarn so it doesn't, uh, there's no knots there. So we're gonna continue to the next one here and we're just gonna do a double crochet and then we're gonna do a chain one. Do you remember how many you had to do? In double crochet in the next you have to do nine all together. So one, two, and then chain one. This is three, chain one, four, And chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, and nine. Remember after nine there is no chain one. So you just carry along and the next chain three space is a single and then chain three and then come to the next chain three space and single. So there's only one space in between and come to the next one here. Just start right on the first one and it's double and then a chain one. Do that nine times. So one, this is two, this is three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, and nine. And once you get nine, you do not go in there at all. You don't uh, do a chain one. Just move over, single crochet to the next, chain three, go to the next, chain three space, and then begin again. And you're hitting a center point really soon. So we're doing another spray. Okay, so make sure you chain one. So let's count those out together. So this is two, chain one, three, chain one, four, Chain one, this is five, chain one, six, chain one, and seven, chain one, and eight, chain one, and nine. So I've now added stitches. If you've done it right, you're now in the center point. Just come right into the center, do a V stitch. So because it changed colors where it did, it's some people think it's a deal breaker because you don't control that. But you know you're actually gonna have a thick layer of this color and then it will transition to something else. That's one thing that's loved about this yarn is that even though it transitioned which you think might be in a weird spot, it actually balances itself out. That's why they look amazing. So let's come down the other side and let's just quickly review that. So it's a double crochet to begin to start and then chain one. There's nine of them. Chain one and this is three. Chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, and eight, chain one, and nine. So after nine, do not chain one. Okay, come into the next chain three space, single in, and then chain three, and come into the next chain three space, single, and then start another spray here. Okay, continue. So just start with the double and then chain one. So what I would do if I were you, I'm not gonna count anymore. I know that there's nine. 
So I just have to trust it the very first time. So I count it the first time I go in and then this row I don't even count that there's nine. I just don't bother when I did it. You get used to the pattern. So you can find that you can actually start looking away and doing a little more things uh, when you're doing this as long as your hands are doing the work that you think you're doing. So there should be a total of nine. So let's verify. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See I'm confident in my skill to do that. And then you come into the next chain three space single and then chain three. Next chain three space single. And then again the next spray here. So it doubles chain one. Do that for nine times. Remember after the ninth you don't chain one. So this is a really cool pattern. I think uh, this uh, yarn lends itself well to this and uh, I really like the transition and so they have some amazing colors in the Karen Cakes and I really think that you can pull off some really amazing looking shawls with this. So right when you get to the edge then just fill it in with the V-stitch. So that's it. So let's turn our work and look what it looks like now. And so you can see it's kind of really neat and I'm going to do one more row with you and then I'm gonna leave the rest for you. So I'm gonna do the next row with you and then we're gonna let you do the rest. So you're just gonna go to the next chain one space here and just sing a slip stitch and then chain four to start. And we're gonna create the back loops again or the back post double crochets to create the lift. So come into the first one which is part of the spray. You're going to do a back post double and then chain three. One, two, three. And then skip one, go to the second over, back post double, chain three, skip one, go to the second over, back post double, chain three, and do the next one, or skip one, go to the second one over, and then chain three, and watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna join the last one, which is here, and now that you can see that there was a color change, it's really obvious which one it is, and then you see the one over here. So those are the two sprays. We're gonna put those together. So you're gonna wrap the hook, going in the back post, pull through, pull through two and hold. Don't get rid of that. Go to the first one of the next spray, go in the back post only and put those together just like that. So now chain three and then go to the second one over. So skip one, go to the next one over I mean and then chain three. So this is now the start of another set of sprays every time you do one of these rows here. So you're establishing it, you're making this row that's right before it lift off. You can see it's starting to lift off. It's really neat. And then one, two, and three. So this is the end of the spray here. So come and get that first one, wrap and pull through, and pull through two and hold. Go to the next one, go to the first one only and for the back post and put those together and then chain three. So skip one, go to the second one over and then chain three and keep doing that. So what you have to watch out for this is the center point. Always keep an eye out in your center point so you always know where you are. Okay so we come into the very last one here of the spray. So the back post double crochet and then we're here back at the top. Okay the center lines coming up and then you just V-stitch right in the center and then back down the other side. So starting on the other side, so immediately back post double crochet in the first one that's in the spray and then chain three. So one, two, and three, skip one. And then one, two, three, skip one, back post double crochet. One, two, uh, two and three, skip one. Okay, one, two, and three. So the next one is the last one. You can clearly see it because it's a color change. Just like that. And then you can get that first one of the very next one, put it together. Just like that. And then chain three again. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so that was the last one of that spray and then I come to the first one of the next one. 
I'm going to put those two together. And then continue. So one, two, and three. Skip one, go to the second over. One, two, and three. Skip one, go to the second over. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. And then that's it. Okay, so you're on the edge. So you just did the last one and the very final one is a V-stitch in. So it's really a repetitive pattern at this point and you can see how it works and you can see that you've now got established uh, of the next sprays that are going in. So right where you uh, started in the first you're going to then just backtrack and do exactly what you did in order to get these sprays in. This time there will be total four. Last time there's three. So there will be one here, two, three, and four. Okay, and down the other side. So it'll be one on the top, one, uh, sorry, the one on the top, two, three, and four. So this is how you do the fluffy meringue uh, shawl. It's a really an amazing shawl and I hope that you really enjoy it. So until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd and we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>